Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to create some kind of level selection where we swap in between our models. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first let's take a look at what we currently have on the screen. So over here, you can tell I have four different models and they're all stacked on top of each other right now. So let me just turn three of them off so you can see a single one. So this is model number one. And then if I turn it off, this is model number two, three, and four. So basically what we're going to be doing in the script is we're going to set all of them to false, uh, to, to non-active basically, and just simply turn them on when we need them. So to do that, we need a container. And now um, for this case, this specific case, I've already made myself a container that contains the animation for those, but uh, if you don't have any animation, just go ahead and create yourself a empty game object and call it, I uh, say, model container, and then you put all of them inside the model container. And then we're going to go ahead and create ourselves the script. So, add component, um, we can call this uh, character selection a new C sharp script of course now let's go inside the script okay so first step we're gonna take is we are going to declare ourselves a list but to do that we need to include the system collection dot generics so once we have this up there we can now declare ourselves a public list of game object for our case and we'll just say models is equal to a new list of game object now if we go back inside the inspector, you can see that the list just popped and we can simply add stuff in there. So I'll make it a size 4 and I'll drag and drop every single model we have. Now whenever our game launches, so whenever we hit start, so private void start, we're going to take every single of those for each game object geo in models. So for every single game object in our list, we're going to say active to false. Now we'll need a way to keep track of where exactly we're pointing in our list, uh, which one we're currently selecting. So let's declare ourselves a private int, and I'll just call this one selection. I'll put it at zero, so that is my default selection. I'll just write it here, default selection. So we start at zero. And then in the start, I'll do um, models at the index say selection dot set active to true so that is going to be our default model now if we press play on this you can tell that um, our default one was zero so model one which is the zero index in this list now if we were to put it on say three which is the last one this model will now pop up. Okay, so now how do we change this at runtime? Well, first we're gonna need to um, keep track of the input. To do that, we'll declare ourselves a private void update. And in our update, we are going to modify the selection. So, um, we could simply take the input. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and say, if input.getKeyDown, now we could use key code, oops key code um, dot s or actually key code dot w and then this would do selection plus plus simply just like that and then we do the same thing with s and this is going to be selection minus minus but eventually we're going to hit the point where the selection is no longer valid if selection goes beyond if selection is bigger dot um, then models dot count then we're gonna say selection is now equal to zero we do the same thing over here so if selection is a smaller than zero then we do selection is equal to models dot count okay let's just go check this out if it w actually after we do that we need to um, call our 
function over here, not a function, but our uh, set active call. So I'm just going to copy and paste it over here. Same thing. But now we'll, we'll have a small error and you'll see it in a second. So as you can see, they stack now and the argument is out of range if I go down and also if I go up. So we need to limit a little bit more. So there's an error in our um, if over here. Okay, so we need to modify this a little bit. So selection can go up to three maximum. Since we're zero base and we have four model, we don't want selection to go to four. And now model counts is equal to 4 because this is not 0 base. So what we'll do is we'll change the if selection is bigger than model for if selection is bigger or equal to model.count. And we'll do the same thing over here. So if selection is smaller than 0, actually, if selection is smaller than 0, we do selection is equal to model.count minus 1, just like this. OK. Now let's hit play and see what happens. So we have the exact same problem we had before because we're not turning off the models and we'll do that just in a second. But now we don't get the uh, out of range error anymore. So let's go ahead and turn off our models. So before we actually do the uh, selection change, or I mean the selection uh, increment, we're going to say model at the index selection set active is equal to false. So we're just turning off the model we currently had, and then we're doing the um, selection change. All right, so now let's try this out. So I press S, as you can see, it goes down in the list. And if I press W, it goes up, just like this. So we're switching model. We're actually turning on, uh, turning on the next model and turning off the one we currently had. So this works just fine, and this is exactly what we're looking for. Now notice how we can just simply change the selection up here and it is going to change uh, which one we get at the very beginning. Now in a real context what you would do is you would actually have some kind of way out over here so say um, if input get key down and return and then in here you would do something of the sort so uh, player pref dot save or set int then you would set say uh, preferred model and you would give it the selection. You'd have to save which one the player actually chose. So you save the selection and then in the next scene, if you actually load a new scene, say application load level, uh, say game, game, then in this scene you would go ahead and just have the same list going on. So this would be the player container or some kind of avatar container. And you would just set everything to false at first and then do models, load selection, set active to true. And that's pretty much it guys. If this was helpful to you, please leave it a like. If you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. Also subscribe for more of these tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.